Is gears up to help as many evacuees as possible. One councilman raised some questions today whether the city is using enough minority owned businesses in its efforts. Jack Fink, live at the mega shelter at the K Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. Well, Kaylee, today the Dallas City Council voted to spend up to $8 million in reserve funds on Harvey related expenses for the mega shelter here and the city's three other shelters. And Councilman Kevin Felder requested that the city's CFO provide documentation that the city is using enough African American and minority owned businesses as suppliers. We'll be happy to provide that information at a point when operations slow down. I don't want to see it after the uh, hurricane efforts are over. I'd like to see them as soon as possible. Just Certainly the process. Well. You don't have to, you know, just the process. How are you going about doing this, getting the message out, making sure it's an inclusive process? I will see what staff I can pull from the Emergency Operations Center to brief you. Okay, and I want something in writing. Now, after the meeting, the city's CFO told me it's all hands on deck right now and that she wouldn't pull anyone away from the emergency operations center. Both the CFO and the mayor, Mike Rawlings, say the city relies on its contracted suppliers who are diverse, but in emergencies, the process is different. We're making these decisions in the run, and so there's not a traditional RFP process where you get three bids in the matter of hours. You got to say, who's got cots? Let's bring them in. Who's got toilet paper? Let's bring them in. Both the mayor and the CFO say the city is committed to using minority and women-owned businesses. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.